I've made a lot of money online over the past few years using various side hustles and online businesses. I've documented all of it here on this channel, but one of the number one questions I get is, which one is the cheapest to start? So in this video, I'm actually going to rank all the different side hustles I've tried from the cheapest to the most expensive. So if you're a complete beginner and you're looking for a way to make money online that doesn't cost a lot of money, then you'll really wanna make sure you watch this entire video because there are some online businesses here that I've seen literally change people's lives even though they started with absolutely no money. Let's start out by talking about TikTok and other forms of short form content video creation. So this is basically when you make short videos and you post them up to TikTok, maybe to Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts, and you make money from this by getting paid by the platform itself. Now this is actually really cheap to do. It doesn't really require any money, assuming you already have a smartphone. So in terms of this scale on the left, I'm gonna put this all the way down here at zero. But I wanted to really give you a full picture here because it's not just enough that this is cheap to do. You also have to consider what is the likelihood that you'll actually make a substantial amount of sustainable income from this. So I'm gonna rank these from different side hustles that are pretty much guaranteed to work to ones that are pretty much impossible to get to work. So for TikTok, even though it's really cheap to do, anyone can start doing it, the likelihood that you'll actually start to make money from it is pretty, pretty low. I'm gonna put it all the way over here because most people who post up on TikTok, they're just not gonna make money with it. And if you really wanna do well, you have to post a lot of content and get people to get you money some other ways, like through things like sponsorships. So that is why I'm putting it all the way down here with a really low chance of success with this. So really the sweet spot here is right here. You want something that's cheap, but is almost guaranteed to work. So that's what we're going to be looking for today. The next one up on my list that I have here is eBay, eBay drop shipping specifically. This is something that I've done for about six or seven years now, I'm doing it for a long time. And what this involves is you posting up products to eBay that you don't own or have in stock. We get these items from other websites like Walmart, AliExpress sometimes, HomeDepot.com. And this really allows you to get started for very cheap because you don't have to spend so much money or really any money on inventory up front. Now, when someone buys it from you on eBay, you just buy it from your supplier and enter in the buyer shipping address so the supplier ships it directly to the customer. So this is really cheap to start, very close to zero. There's some software that we use that would make it, if you're gonna use that, about $20 a month or so. So pretty much under $100, definitely close to zero. And there's a really high chance of success with this. I've taught thousands of people how to do this. It's what I talk about a lot on my channel. And I've seen so many beginners actually get great results with this. So I'm gonna put this one right here around the cheapest to start and a really high, high likelihood of success with it. The next side hustle I wanna talk about is Amazon FBA. So there's many different ways that you can do Amazon FBA. Specifically, the one that I tried that I wanna talk about is called eBay to Amazon. And this is a method that was developed by my friend Steve. It's kind of like online arbitrage if you've ever heard of it. So what we do is we order items from eBay and when they arrive, we then list them for sale on Amazon, send them into Amazon's warehouse and Amazon will take care of the fulfillment after that. They'll take care of shipping out the items, returns, all the customer service. So once you get the items to Amazon, it's really hands off. And the benefit of using like eBay as a supplier, as opposed to what most people do with online arbitrage, which is when they buy from like department stores, is that you can really find scarce items that there's not many of, so your competition's gonna be really low with it. Now, with this model though, you do have to actually buy inventory upfront. And when I was doing it, I was buying a lot of inventory. I was spending thousands of dollars on inventory. So I'm gonna put it up here, but really, when I was so surprised at how likely it was that all the products I listed sold. So pretty much, uh, actually all the items I had listed for sale on Amazon that I use this method with sold eventually. So there's a really high chance of success with this, 
if you do it correctly, but it does cost thousands of dollars to actually buy up all of the inventory to really have a sustainable growing business with it. So I'm gonna put it right about here. The next one I wanna talk about is called affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing, if you haven't heard of it, that's when you recommend products or services to your friends and you give them a special link. You say, hey, use this link when you sign up to, for this service or this website or, or when you buy this product from Amazon. And if they use that link, you'll get a cut and you'll actually make a commission off of that. This is, as you might imagine, really cheap to start. It costs pretty much nothing to start. You can just start posting these up on Facebook. You can make YouTube videos, which you can do for free. You can post them on TikTok, any so social media. But the problem is that to really make good money from it, it's gonna be really hard to do with affiliate marketing. I'm gonna put it really low chance of success. And that's because in my experience, to really get this to work, you have to have some sort of following. You have to have a YouTube channel that you build up. You have to have a TikTok that you build up or an Instagram that, you grow, that you've grow grown quite large. If you have that, your chances of success are quite high, but without that, your chances are, are much, much lower. You'll probably make some sales. You're, you'll probably definitely make some commissions, but not a sustainable or really recognizable amount of money from it. So I'm gonna put it right there. Next one we'll talk about is any sort of day trading. So I'm gonna include in this stocks, I'm gonna include in this crypto, I'm going to include in this Forex, any sort of day trading where you're at your computer buying something on one day and then the same day selling it or vice versa. This is something that does require some capital to start. You need the money that you invest upfront that you can then trade with, but you can start with just a couple hundred dollars with this. The problem is that in my opinion, and most financial advisors will tell you that day trading is very dangerous, extremely risky, and most people lose money with it. We all kind of think that we can outsmart the market and that we can make money in the market where other people can't, but that's just not true. Statistically, that is not true. So this costs you know, somewhere around here, however much you wanna invest, but honestly, the chances of you being successful with it are pretty much damn near impossible. So I'm gonna put it all the way down here. And of course, there's always people that outsmart the market. We always hear those stories, but don't let that fool you into believing that you're gonna be just as lucky as they are. Next thing I wanna talk about is any sort of automation service. So these are businesses that you can invest in, as they like to say, where you basically buy an Amazon store. So you give them money, they set up an Amazon FBA business for you or an Amazon dropshipping business for you, and then it's completely hands off for you. They, the company runs the entire automation store for you. The first problem with these is that these cost over $10,000 to get started, usually closer to $25,000, so completely off the chart. The other problem with them is that I've heard of very few success stories with this. So I'm gonna put this all the way over here into a really low chance of success. You're investing a lot of money into something that historically, what we've seen, doesn't produce any sort of, of income for the people that invested. There was a company recently that did a lot of these automation services and they went bankrupt and none of their clients had any stores that were successful at all. So I would stay far away from them. They're very appealing because they seem so hands off but I would stay well away from them. them. Next one I wanna talk about is Shopify dropshipping. This is when you actually dropship onto your own website. With Shopify, you have to build a website, you have to do product research and figure out a product that you wanna sell on that website. And the hardest part about this is that you have to pay for marketing to actually get people to visit your website. Marketing costs money. Building a website costs money because you have to pay for a domain name, you have to pay for a, a plan with Shopify, they, you might have to pay for a logo on Fiverr. So there's, there's several costs involved here. It's gonna be at least $1,000 or close to $1,000. I think you can get away with getting started for about $1,000. But when you start doing the ads, that can get pretty expensive. Now, this is a little bit tricky on the scale of success because 
there's, if you do it right, you can be successful with this and you can do really well with it. I have some friends that built up Shopify stores that made them thousands of dollars of profit a month and they were able to sell their store for tens of thousands of dollars. But I've seen far more people who have tried to do it and were not successful with Shopify drop shipping at all. So it's kind of like anything else where if, if you really figure it out, you can do well. But overall, I would say the likelihood of success is kind of like right in the middle, I would put for this one. Um, and I think for a lot of people, where they're gonna get tripped up is with the marketing because it's so hard to actually get people to visit your website. So I'll put that one right there. I wanna talk about YouTube right now. YouTube, obviously, if you make videos, you can get paid by YouTube for all the ads that run on your videos. And the cool thing is that you don't have to show your face like I am right now. You can create these faceless YouTube channels there's a lot of them out there. I was watching one the other day that was all different riddles. So you would watch, there would be a riddle. It was very captivating, really sucked you in. I watched like 15 minutes of it. You make a couple of those videos a week, you're gonna get a lot of views and a lot of watch time. And it's really the watch time that determines how much you're paid, how much time people spend watching your videos. So this can be very cheap to start. Again, if you have a smartphone, you can record off of that. You don't need really any fancy equipment when you start. So assuming you have that, the cost to get started can be $0. But just like a lot of the other things that we talked about, like, like with, with TikTok, the chances of you being success, successful with it honestly are pretty low. It is really hard to kind of break in. And for most people, they just don't have kind of the, the knowledge of which kinds of videos do well on YouTube and how to target those videos. So I would say the chances of success here are somewhere between medium and low with something like YouTube for that reason. Another one I wanna talk about, let's talk about something that's been uh, around for a long time and that's blogging. So this is when you create a website and put articles on that website. The goal here is to get people to find your website when they search for something. So let's say you really like fishing. You can make a fishing website. And then when someone searches for what is the best fishing rod to purchase, hopefully your website comes up. They get to visit your blog posts about how you found the perfect fishing rod and what you think it is. And you compare a whole bunch of different ones. The way you get paid from this is you can actually run ads on your website or you can do affiliate marketing like we talked about before and actually put some affiliate links on your blog. Again, this is pretty cheap to do. I'm gonna put this like sub $100. You can technically get started for $0 just by creating like a Wix website, but you do want a custom domain and those can cost like $15, $20. You might want a custom theme as well. So, you know, like sub $50 on this one but there is some money involved, especially if you have to pay for hosting as well. But again, the likelihood of success with this, I'm actually gonna put pretty low. I think it used to be a lot higher back in the day, but now it's so much harder to rank on Google because so many people are competing for these keywords. So, and in addition to that, so many people have kind of turned away from going to blogs and they prefer to watch videos on YouTube instead. So I'm gonna put blogging down here, it's pretty low. It's lower than YouTube because I think just the, the, the reach that YouTube have, has is, is really large. So there are plenty of people that I've seen, for instance, I'm gonna bump this one up a little bit because I just had thought about this. There's so many videos that I've seen that have just gone viral on channels that, that don't have a lot of views. So a person made a bunch of videos, no one really watched them, then they made one video that got like over a million views. So that one video is giving them maybe like $100 a month in passive income now. So it is possible to have these viral videos even if you don't fully know what you're doing or you don't fully have a lot of experience on YouTube. So I'll put that one right there. Next up, we will talk about, let's talk about chat GPT. And specifically what I wanna talk about is using AI in different ways to make money online. And this 
can include ChatGPT. It can also include MidJourney, which creates AI art for you. It's a pretty broad category. In general, this is gonna be really cheap to start. ChatGPT is free. MidJourney does cost money. I think it's like $20 a month to get started. So pretty low here to get started with this. And I'm gonna move this right now into kind of like the medium area because there are people who are making money with AI right now. Either that's by uh, AI art that they're selling on Etsy. My friend Patrick does that. And he made a lot of videos about how he's doing that. I've seen people kind of giving out services like making blog posts, but instead they're just using chat GPT. So it's kind of hot right now. There's, there's, if you jump on this, there is opportunity here. But I think as time goes on and more people kind of get into the space and are more familiar with it, this is gonna get kind of less and less lucrative. But right now, there is some really good potential right here with different sort of AI art and AI writing and things like that. And that kind of brings me to the next one, which is drop servicing, which I'm gonna kind of lump those two together. So drop servicing is where you, you provide a service to someone that you don't do yourself. It's kind of like drop shipping. So think of it this way. The, the example that always comes to mind for me is I get these emails every day from people who tell me, hey, I wanna make your YouTube thumbnails for you. I'm going to charge you $30 per thumbnail. Those people are probably, if I say yes to them, they're probably just gonna go over to fiverr.com and find someone to do it for $5 and then they're gonna pocket the $25. That's drop servicing, right? The drop servicer, all they're doing is kind of giving customer service and being the one who reaches out to the person who needs the service done, but they're not actually doing it themselves. This is pretty much $0 to start. Maybe you have to build a website to look a little bit more legitimate, which as we talked about before is like around $50 or so. And you can use something like ChatGPT because you can say, hey, I'll write a blog post for you and just have ChatGPT do it. You can say, hey, I can create art for you and just have mid-journey do it or something like that. So those two can really work hand in hand together quite well. The, the problem with it is that it can become very saturated. Like I said, I get those emails, like probably like three of them a day. So they just immediately get trashed at this point. So it can become saturated. But if, you're the, if you get creative, especially with the AI stuff going on, I think there's still opportunity here to make some money with this. And it's pretty much $0 to start this. Um, this is getting a bit cluttered and in here, but we'll do a recap at the end to kind of make sense of all of it. Next one I want to talk about before we talk about the final one here is wholesale drop shipping. So this is when you drop ship. Uh, I have experience doing this on eBay, but instead of using retail suppliers like we talked about before, you're going to use wholesale suppliers. Now the cost to get started with this is going to be higher. I'm gonna put it somewhere between $100 and $500, only because in order to do this, you actually have to get set up as a real business that sometimes costs some money. It's definitely gonna cost you at least some time, and you might even need to build a website to look legitimate. So it's probably closer to $100, but it's not, it's not nothing, right? But the chances of success with this are really the likelihood of doing well with this. I'm gonna put like right here. It's not as, as, uh, guaranteed as something like eBay drop shipping uh, with from retail stores. But if you do get it right, if you find a good wholesale supplier, you get connected with them and you find some good products with them, you can do really well, very consistently uh, without a lot of extra work on your part. Uh, it's just getting to that point, which is honestly difficult for a lot of people. That's why I'm kind of putting it over here in this area. And the final one I wanna talk about is Facebook Marketplace drop shipping. This is very similar to eBay drop shipping, which we talked about in the beginning, where we're selling products from like Home Depot and Walmart, but instead of selling them on eBay, we're selling them on Facebook Marketplace. And the cool thing about this is that Facebook Marketplace is hot. There's a lot of people there. Just like with eBay, the customers are already there, so you don't have to pay for marketing like you do with Shopify drop shipping very low cost to get started, very low barrier to get started because you don't even need to sign up for it. As, as long as you have a Facebook account, you're ready to go. There's no upfront cost involved. All you need is a credit card to fulfill the orders 
until Facebook releases the money to you. So I'm also gonna put this one right here because we're seeing a lot of people have a lot of success with Facebook Marketplace, especially because it is so hot and new and untapped like a lot of the other different ways to make money online. So as you see, a lot of the businesses I've focused on over the past five, six, seven years are ones that cost low amount of money to get started. And that's because I know that it's something that is really appealing for people like you who don't have a lot of money to invest to get started because that's where I was seven years ago before I got started with all this. Now, the one business here that really took off for me and allowed me to quit my job and to start making these videos was eBay dropshipping and has continued to be one of the best ways I've ever found to make money online, especially for beginners. That was really until Facebook Marketplace came along because Facebook Marketplace, I would say, is just as equivalent. It's just as good of an opportunity and it's just as easy and low cost to get started. There's a lot of other cool stuff in here, you know, different things I would stay away from. I would stay away from automation. I wouldn't do Shopify dropshipping at first. That you can do after some experience. Things like TikTok and affiliate marketing and, you know, I, you know they work, but you know, it's not the best use of your time. Things more over here are better use of your time. Definitely stay away from any sort of day trading and automation. And Amazon FBA, you know, it's a really good option if you have revenue, sorry, income, sorry, money, I should say, to invest upfront into the business. It is a really good option. Like I said, every product I purchased using the method that I had learned sold. So, my fear with something like FBA is that the products that I buy are never gonna sell. But using this method, they all actually sold at some point and never lost money on any of them. So it is a really good option if you do have some money to invest upfront. Now, obviously there's a lot more that goes into each of these different side hustles and different ways to make money online. So do me a favor, comment down below which of these two you are the most interested in and I'll make sure to make some in-depth videos about how those different side hustles work. Or if you're really eager and you wanna get started right now, I do have a course that teaches you how to drop ship onto eBay, and I have another one that teaches you how to drop ship onto Facebook Marketplace. The links for those will be in the description down below, or you can just go to dropshippingtitans.com to learn more about them. But if you're just here for the YouTube videos, then check out this one right here. It's like an in-depth guide into how eBay dropshipping works. You can click on it. It's perfect for beginners, and I'll see you over there in just one second.